Okay then, welcome back to Splinter Cell Blacklist. I'm Clockworks and I'm doing a live commentated playthrough of this game. Let's carry on from where we left off, shall we? So, use this. It's been a couple of weeks since I've uh, played this because well, I've just been busy with other stuff. So. Oh, here we are, American Fuel. Okay, click. Man, you gotta talk to me. Negative on that, Briggs. You have any idea how many bridges you burn with that Gitmo stunt? It was necessary. Are you arguing with the results? It's not about the results, and you know it. You pulled agency favors and made the agency look bad. You took the star witness out of play, even if he was chicken feet. Langley doesn't like that. What do you say? I'm saying don't call anymore. You might want to think about making that transfer permanent. Well, that's, uh... That's not helpful, is it? Oh well. Intercept a fuel tanker that is suspected to be the target of the American fuel blacklist attack. Start briefing. Thanks. Let me know if Ollie needs anything. Apart from some cosmetic damage, it looks like the plane is fine. Good to hear. Charlie, what? Any update on that hijacked ship we're after? I'm still working on it. They named the attack American fuel. A loaded tanker would make one hell of a weapon. What the hell just happened? Don't look at me. Graham. Uh oh. The SMI isn't responding. I'm locked out. What? Charlie. Um... Trying to work around. Briggs, you got anything? Nothing. All I got is lighting and internal comms. This is the flight deck. We're losing engine power. How long can we glide? We're talking minutes. Navigation systems are down. We have only manual flight controls. We're gonna check the rear panel. I can't get us up and running that fast. I don't even know how they got control of the plane. Well, that's not good. Talk to me, buddy, damn it! Flight deck, what's going on? This is the co-pilot. We need a medic. What's wrong? The captain. Cracked his head when the plane dropped. It's bad, he's unconscious. Repeat, the pilot is down. Is the plane under control? Shit. All the engines are dead. Trying to restart. I'm locked out of the navigation controls. Can you fly? Yes. I mean, no. I can try to keep it together manually, keep her in a glide, but I need another pilot. It takes two people to properly work the controls. Well, I think American Fuel is going to have to wait. <laughs> Am I going to be flying a plane now? Is, is this what's going to happen? Briggs, check on the pilot. Where are you going? To get Colvin. I should probably hurry. Try and get the back up somewhere. Come on, Charlie. Let me guess. We're totally fucked, and I'm the only one who can unfuck. Yep. Get out. The pilot's unconscious. Shit! What happened to the co-pilot? He's flying manually. I get it, it's a two-man job. Dump the power, kill the backup generator, reboot the system. Okay, I gotta get to the flight deck. Let me out of here, Fisher. Fisher, let me out of here. Oh, I thought they were gonna make me choose. Hey, dump some cargo while you're down there. It'll buy us some time. Briggs. Head to the back of the plane. We need to lose cargo fast. On my way. Now what do we do? Okay, I guess I'll run this way. I'm leaving a message on the flight recorder in case we don't make it. Oh, that's wishful thinking. Sam, I've got the cargo bay door open. Oh boy. I don't worry, man. I'm here. I've got, I've got this. We need to lose weight. Dump the chopper. A little bit harder, please, lads. We're about to hit some rough air. You better strap in. Are they seriously pushing a helicopter? Where do I shoot? You think you can hit it from up there? 
I guess we'll find out. Up we go. Oh, it's a bit dark. Unlike dinner. Goodbye, helicopter. Okay, Fisher, here's the deal. You gotta cut the power so we can reboot the system. You gotta do it now. The reboot console is under the subfloor, below the SMI. I'm working on it. It just takes, you know, about 10 seconds to open that goddamn door. Falling. We are. Yeah, I'd love to. We're kind of falling. <laughs> I can't sprint or run or anything. Come on, come on. Plenty of time, right? Plenty of time. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, I don't think Coping is going to do anything risky. I mean, he doesn't want to die either. to reinstall the whole system mid-flight. Yeah, I'd be done by now if this jackass would get out of my way. He'll crash the plane. What the fuck do you think is about to happen? Let him at it. It's action. All right. Okay, Fisher, you got to pump fuel back into the engines, all right? If I get this thing back online, we're going to have seconds to fire it up. The manual fuel pump controls are in there. I'm not right, gonna have to button mash. You gotta pull back hard. Okay, we're gonna get one shot at this. What button is it gonna be? E, left click, space bar? Three, two, one, now! Oh, oh come on, okay, come they're on. not they're doing it themselves, come okay. On. Come on, you bitch, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up! Oh, no way. No way. Oh my god. <laughs> that was crazy. Unbelievable. What's her status? Maybe Not dead. Back online. <laughs> She's flying, but we're flying blind. Graham, internal comms work, but the other communication systems are still offline. Hey guys, what the hell just happened? We were hit with a Stuxnet-style virus. I rebooted the SMI from backup, did a full system scrub, we're clean. How did the engineers get a virus on my plane? We'll do the forensics and get you some answers. Oh shit. What now? It's a communique we received right before the plane went dark. The White House activated continuity of government. What does that mean? It means all the top military and government brass were sent to protected bunkers to make sure they survive. Last time that happened was 9-11. Oh my god. Oh. Do you think that last blacklist attack? We don't know that yet, Charlie. Just so focus on restoring communications. Hmm. So, I guess... Next... Uh, I guess we missed American fuel and that actually went through. Well, you can't get more, right? What is it, five? Five attacks? One out of five isn't so bad. Uh, okay, well, uh, I don't know how much time is, was spent doing that, but I'm just going to do another mission just because that didn't feel like it was very long, so we'll go ahead and do this. 
modified Stuxnet. Modified, modified, uh, adaptable to new hardware configurations. Just on the fly, sends new specifications back home. And then gets reconfigured remotely to match the new system it's in on. This is just beautiful work. I mean, you know, it sucks, but it's beautiful. One of your people did this? Hell no. I was thinking it was one of your buddies. Yeah. Well, this is very elegant, very dangerous. You can shut down any system it gets into. <laughs> Learn that the hard way. If I were you, I would get across the Atlantic. <laughs> Contain the fires at the liquid natural gas terminal. Stop any engineers on site. Ooh, let's do this. I want you to keep cycling the frequencies and don't stop until you get through, okay? Briggs, any word on that hijacked ship? Outside communications are almost entirely blacked out. We can't sync up with anyone yet, but the crew's working on it. Charlie. The virus. I found the source. It was executed when we gutted the tablets and picked up a mirror wall. That's impossible. This is... I streamlined a couple of security protocols. I was just trying to boost operating speed. You let it infect the system? That's how they found us in Mexico. No, it wasn't. When we were on the ground, I contacted a former associate with the cartel. The engineers have a bounty out on us. He must have rolled on me for a cut. Charlie, why we're didn't you... Ah, uh, we missed American it. American fuel attack Fuck. was successful. That must be why they activated continuity of government. What was the engineer's target? Sorry, Sam. I'm still getting flooded with intel. Got it. Looks like Louisiana, Sabine Pass, a natural gas tanker. One gas tanker? Can't be oh that bad. Oh my god, Sabine Pass. That's the biggest fuel facility on the Gulf Coast. The engineers hit the facility with a computer virus right before the tanker hit. Security systems, fail safes, everything was disabled. The virus operates exactly like the one they hit our plane with. Oh shit. Every fuel facility on the coast has been infected. Oh. The fire spreads. They'll all go up one by one. That's not good. Yeah, we should probably launch and get that done quickly. <laughs> Burning refinery is not the place to go subtle. The SMI's optimal loadout is all about scouting with a tri rotor and inflicting heavy damage with frags. Uh, I don't use frags, sorry. I'll use what I've got. Approaching jump run, Sam. Oh, sweet. Ready? Pilot is dropping to half an angel, reducing speed. And three, two. I haven't seen this done before. Sam's away. Copy. Here we go. Shouldn't you like use a parachute? So how does that work? He ropes down, gets close to the ground while being pulled by the plane, and then just releases himself. It's a bit dangerous. Unless he lands in water, I suppose. But that would still be dangerous. Hello. Grim, I'm on the ground headed towards the down chopper. Sam, the seals look like they're taking heavy ground fire. Engineers? Affirmative. They're pinned down. Not sure how long they'll hold out. What do we have going on here? Sign. If you're not gonna pull the trigger, stop pointing that thing at me. I'm here to help. Who said we needed help? Where did you come from? Off the books. They tasked you to secure the facility. They sent us to stop the fuel tanker, but they sent us too late. We got here after the crash, then tailed the squad of foot mobiles. We almost got their leader, then everything went to shit. Grim, I got a high value engineer target on the ground. Give me a location. Can I actually go around this corner without being spotted? Sweet.
How to best take out these guys? That's the question, though, isn't it? Those lights are a problem. Time isn't on your side. You have to push through. Moving, bro. Chill out. Sam, hostiles are targeting the first responders. On my way. Grim, find me the lead engineer. As fast as I can. Can I not climb this? There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, I am sniper. And I'm dead because I'm a dumbass. Right, I haven't played this game in a while, uh, so need to get my stealth on, as it were. Almost there, I think. Good laptop done. Let's keep moving. Let's keep on rolling here. I'm not sure what our plan is exactly. Up ahead to the fire station. First responders got pinned down right out front. I don't really have any gadgets for putting out fire. The fires are burning out of control. You'll have to neutralize all the engineers before the emergency team can get back to work safely. Right. Someone want to tell me how I'm supposed to do that? Oh no, never mind. I can just neutralise the engineers, can't I? Well, that's not a problem. This leads nowhere. Oh wait, here we go. Actually, no. Oh, here we are. 
can't see because it's very dark. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. You saw nothing, friend. Standing in fire, that's not good. And this is where we run. Who cares yeah, about stealth, right? It's clear, don't worry. Chief, you're all clear. You're making to get back to work. Thanks for the help. Should buy enough time to evacuate. There's gotta be a way to stop this fire. Main gas line dumping gas directly onto the fire. Spreads the pipeline and blam! Might as well be pissing into the wind. How's he doing? We copy, Sam. Finding an exit for you now. No, I mean, wait. If you can find me a terminal, I can nuke the virus, clear their system. Chief, where's the control room? Top floor of the terminal building, but it's too dangerous. I'll be all right, I got backup. Good luck, Chief. Anyone need luck in this mess? It's you. If you can make the run to the terminal building, Sam, Charlie can shut the floor gas down. Whoa! Okay, this isn't going to be a shooting kind of, shooting kind of thing, is it? Come on, come on, come on, swing around, swing around, here we go. Oh, oh god. Yeah, don't want to fall down there. That would be bad. No, 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 no. Sam, I've managed to hack into the engineer's combo on the terminal. You want to listen? Sure, why not? Great. 
The control room is on the top floor. Good, nobody's up here. That's what I like to see. Hang on. Yes. All right, I got it. Pulled it off, Charlie. I have control of it all. Lights, doors, security. Good job. Good job. Wait. I think I might have the leader. He's disguising himself as a paramedic. Sending you the location. I'm moving. Uh, anything else in this room? No secrets to pick up or anything. Okay, let's keep on moving. I'm opening the door. Fastest way to get to him. Oh, thank you. Stay sharp up there. The engineers are gonna know we're here now. Got your back. Understood, Chad. Oh. Whoa, chill with the rage. Third guy's up top, nothing to worry about. This is a dangerous situation, man. These are all heavily armed guys, I can't take them out. Ah, get down, get down, get down. Two down. Two to go. Or I could just evade him. That would be a smart thing to do here. Let's just go ahead and evade him. Get down to ground level if you can, Sam. You're right on top of the leader. Shut! The systems are back online. They must have retaken the facility. Lock this area down. Watch the east. I want updates by the minute. Go! Should have a visual on the leader now, Sam. Got him. Oh, well done, Charlie. I can open it again, but it'll take some time. No. I'll find another way. God damn it, Charlie. Whoops. Well, that didn't really do anything, did it? Can I catch him? Oh no, he's just way too fast. You, this isn't a this isn't a you can catch him kind of scene. This is a you have to.
Whoa. Where are you going, bro? Escaping in an ambulance. Get the UAV up and track it. Hang on. I got this. All right, hang on, hang on. I'm going to reach the gate. That's bullshit. My sticky shocker hit him. We all saw what happened. I hit him with the damn sticky shocker. Oh, great. Now he's dead. He's valuable to me. I didn't kill him for a reason. He can give us some information later. Information first, killing him later. No need to rush. I wonder if it will give us a choice to spare or kill Sadiq at the very end. That would be interesting. More money in the bank. I'll probably do both endings like I did with uh, the previous splinters though. Just for confirmation to see what happens. Have we raised the present yet? Still trying. We've got an update on the SEAL team. They're all okay. We're gonna finish refueling be back in the air in 20. Hey, appreciate your help back there. Yeah, thanks. You got a sec? Wait. It's nothing big. We'll catch you up later. Grim, the virus, Mexico, I gotta tell him. No, you don't. I screwed up. You think? Then why are you covering for me? I mean, why would you even want me here? I never did. Thanks. You asked. You don't listen to anyone. You think you know everything. You treat your work like a game. Are we done? No, we're not. You know what bothers me the most about you, Charlie? You're good at your job. The only thing standing between Sadiq and the world is this team. I can't afford to have Sam throwing you off this plane. I'm sorry. Then find a way to make it up to us. Mission completo. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. <clears throat> and I will see you on the next Splinter Cell Blacklist video, whenever that might be. So, this is Clockworks saying goodbye and good night. Thank you.